Are virtual chats a complete scam? Let's try to look at the facts. When you buy a virtual challenge, what you do is you buy a predefined route, literally going from point A to point B, usually in a very scenic area or a very famous trail, famous way. It could be the ascent of a famous mountain or just a very famous trail. This challenge has a fixed distance in order to achieve it from start to finish. And when you practice any of your activities like cycling, walking, running, swimming, all the mileage is accumulated towards this objective. Some virtual challenges like the one that I love with the Conqueror Challenge gives you also some postcards or some milestones along the way in order to make sure that you keep on running and try to go one more, literally pushing you to go the extra mile. This is all based on your own motivation. If you look at the facts, what they're giving you exactly is a medal and everything else they're providing to you you could have it for absolutely free if you want you can go on google earth find a way that you find interesting somewhere maybe grand canyon whatever and then just decide that okay this is 300 miles so now every mile that i'm going to do with this activity or with multiple activities i'm going to take a paper a pen and i'm going to note all of those miles and accumulate them and when i achieve 300 miles I'll consider challenge done. I mean, this is just as simple as this. So in a way, you could get all of what a virtual challenge is offering for free. And you could even create your own milestone. For instance, let's say that you've taken the challenge that is 300 miles. You can decide that every 50 miles, you're going to do something that you enjoy doing as a reward for your effort. So you can create this whole system for yourself and 100% for free. The three things that I think you're getting with a virtual challenge are first you gain the medal. I mean the medal, I don't think it can be replicated very easily. I don't think you can do this uh, with your own hands or you're a very crafted person and kudos to you. Then you're getting the community. Usually with virtual challenges there are huge Facebook groups or just community elsewhere and that, that's why I love the Conqueror Challenges app is because there is such a strong community behind it and such a positive mindset every time I talk to anyone or contribute to the community with the online Facebook group etc that it motivates me so much to see other people who are crazy in the same way as me about getting those medals that is a huge boost in motivation and then third they provide simplicity and that's probably why I think they are worth it and in my mind they're not a scam. I had a discussion a few years ago with friends regarding Netflix or Spotify because let, let's be honest if I want to find any TV show I want or any movie I want there's plenty of illegal so to say streaming websites and same thing goes for music so then why on earth would I be paying for Netflix or Spotify if I know how to get those videos or music for free the reason for that is so much more simple it's so much more simple and for such an affordable price than going out of my way to find free streaming anywhere it's just not worth Worth the hustle. That's exactly the same thing with virtual challenges like this one. It's so well integrated. When I do a run, it goes on Strava, then it goes automatically to my challenge, it runs up all my activities. I can select if I want just running to, to count toward a challenge or if I want to be swimming and cycling but not running, etc. It's so easy. Plus, they integrate all the Google Earth capability. So when I'm on the trail, I can stop where I am and say, oh wow, this is what I would be seeing if I were climbing Mount Fuji. That is why, thanks to those three advantages that they bring, in my mind, they are not a scam. I don't deny that it could be expensive, but you also have to consider what you're getting for your money and what is this money worth. There are people out there that think that paying $25 for a virtual challenge that is going to last a month or two months is crazy, but some of those people also find it completely normal to buy a $10 Starbucks coffee every morning on their way to work. You know what? Stop the coffee for three days, just three days. Instead, you drink some drink tea, it's going to be good for you, good for your health, and you will have saved enough money to buy your next virtual challenge. So just compare to what are you spending? already in your life compared to what is it worth for you to do this virtual challenge and then try to reevaluate if really it's that expensive or not and also if you want to get more challenge for your buck take a very long one there are challenges that last 4,000 kilometers even if you are a very skilled cyclist this is going to take you a while to accomplish so take a very long challenge take a long one it's the same price for all of them it's going to keep you motivating for a whole year when the medal is going to arrive in your mailbox you're going to feel like this is the token of all those effort that you've done and all those challenges that you have accomplished and you're going to be so proud you're going to be telling everybody that you did this so here we are let me know in the comments if you agree with what i said if you don't go ahead bring your arguments 
I'm ready to discuss this. Another great point is that those virtual challenges, they motivate me so much to go the extra mile. I run a lot longer. Just knowing that if I do one or two miles more, then I will get the next postcard or I will unlock the next milestone. That has such a great impact on my motivation. So, And it makes me run a lot longer, which gives me more time to listen to my audiobook that I always do when I run. Audiobook recommendation of the day, by the way, Green Light from Matthew McConaughey. Never heard such a better storyteller ever. He's reading his own audiobook, so listen to it while running is absolutely amazing. I'll put the link in the description if you want to have a try. That's it, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. There'll be a lot more challenges review in the next month. By the way, if you are considering joining a challenge, I'll put the link in the description. If you go via my link, I think I get some discounts when I buy my next challenge, which I do all the time with my own money. And if you want to see more reviews of virtual challenges, I'll put the videos right there. There's a full series. I think I've done six or seven when this video will come out. So have a look at those reviews and maybe enter a challenge. Meanwhile, thank you very much for watching and until next time.